Word 2013, Bibliography, Footnotes. On the Reference tab, choose the proper format such as MLA. Then you'll manage sources, including add sources. Don't forget to expand options as needed. Then you can add footnotes and insert citations for those footnotes. At the end of the writing process, you can then add your works cited or bibliography. The first step is to manage your sources. As you're getting your books, magazines, reference guides, write down all the pertinent information that you'll need to collect, such as the name of the author, the name of the article, if it's from a collection, the editor's name, the name of the collection, where it was published, who published it, when it was published, and don't forget the pages. To manage sources, you go to the References tab and choose Manage Sources. In Microsoft Word 2013, go to the References tab. Verify the style you wish to use. Many people use MLA, 7th edition. From here, choose Manage Sources. Choose New. Choose the type of material. From my note card, I'm going to choose the author. In this case, it was Muriel Harris. If you can't remember which way to enter that, choose the Edit button. Last name and first. Harris. Muriel. And choose OK. The title of her article or essay was Talk to Me. Engaging Reluctant Writers. In this case, the entire collection has an editor. His name was Raph Forth. First name was Ben. The name of the collection, the Tutor's Guide, Helping Writers One on One. The year was 2000. Pages 24 through 34. It was published in Portsmouth. The publisher is Heinemann. And this is a book. Notice after I enter it, it shows me what it will look like. You'll notice I've also added other entries, including a book and a magazine. Here's what the book entry looked like when I first did it. Here's what the magazine entry looked like when I first did it. Again, if you need to add multiple names, choose the Edit button, type in the first name, Add, and then type in another name and Add. If you choose to use a website, you may not find the field for the URL. Choose the Show All Bibliography Fields button and then scroll down to find fields that are not normally listed. Now to add a footnote. Let's say I've got a quote. Again on the Reference tab, choose to insert a footnote. It will add a sequential number to the right of the quote and drop me to the bottom of the page. 
Now I need to enter the author of that quote. To add the author of the quote, choose Insert Citation. Now I choose Insert Citation, and I can list the particular reference that I have already added using Manage Sources. This is a brief listing. By the way, check with your English teacher to see if this is the way they wish to have it done in their class. Finally, at the end of the process, we can add our works cited or our bibliography. This gives the full listing. I'm now ready to add the bibliography to the last page. On the References tab, choose Bibliography, and you can simply select which type you like or choose Insert Bibliography. This enters all the references in the proper format. Again, your English teachers may wish you to add some hanging indents. Check with them for specifics to their class.